Okay, we're getting to our last fallacy for today, and it's also kept called ad hominem, but it's a little bit longer. It's called ad hominem circumstantial. Okay. Now, what's ad hominem circumstantial about? Um, so let's looking at the handout, it says discounting someone's argument on the grounds that it benefits that person. Okay, so um, now you should kind of be a little suspicious if somebody's giving you an argument where it's benefiting them. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we should just discount it. Um, we should still engage with the argument itself. And th that's true for uh, both ad hominem and ad hominem circumstantial. We learned uh, five steps for how to um, respond to an argument. Um, so let's say someone's trying to sue someone else and they're making an argument for their claim. Uh, yeah, it is tempting to discount uh, what they're saying because it's benefiting them. But again, that's a case where everybody, you should always just listen to the argument rather than the person. Um, a key uh, case where it's really clear you should listen to the argument um, and not discount it, even though if it's benefiting the other person is, um, think about the, the earliest Holocaust historians and then Holocaust deniers. Um, a lot of the people who were the most um, passionate about saving evidence so that a Holocaust did happen were people who were Holocaust victims, but it was very important for them to try to get that into our history and get that evidence there. Um, and of course we should pay attention to that. Um, and of course we shouldn't um, discount it just because uh, it's benefiting them. Um, so uh, this is all just kind of, both of these are just focusing on the point that you should attack the argument uh, rather than uh, the person or something about the person. So ad hominem circumstantial is a specific type of ad hominem. Um, okay, that's it. Okay, see you guys in the Zoom. Thank <laughs> you.